Alright, check it out. I have the man here, Dan. Now, let's get it out there for everybody to know. How do we say your last name? It's Toast. Toast. Yeah. Like Toast, but without the T? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I got Dan. I've heard, that. I've heard all those jokes a million times. Okay, no, so I, I, just, I don't get offended. Some people <laughs> say like Tasha, Tasha, yeah. Toast, 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 yeah, Toast, yeah. Toast. Yeah. Nobody knows, so now we don't. Yeah, it's That's Toast. I yep. mean, we'll take anything, just look them up. Yep. But, Dan Toast. Yep. I got Dan Toast here. He has a Challenger. Oh, Jesus. I have a Challenger. You have an FTR. Yep. And we have, um, he has his Toast exhaust. And he's invited me to, to try it out. He wants me to hear it. Um, so I'm going to ride that. But, but first, I've been here for, I don't know, three hours. We're just talking motorcycle talk. And as you can see, we're still in Daytona. It's gonna be busy, it's gonna be loud. So you make exhaust, that's what you do. Yeah. You've been known as a sport bike company pretty much, right? Yep. Exhaust for sport bikes. Yep. But now you have uh, Toast for an Indian. Yep. Just curious, are you thinking about expanding into more than sport yep. bikes? Yeah, we are. Um, we're, we're performance derived. When, when Indian put this bike out here, we knew this was our, uh, our, our reason to get into this. It was, it, it was an invitation for us because we wanted to hit hard with performance, bring the, the technology and, and the stuff that we've learned in the sport bike industry and bring it to these bikes. And this was our way in. And I have no regrets because this, this is a lot of bikes. Um, Dude, the FTR is so fun. I wish these guys knew I was vlogging so they'd shut the hell up. Um, the FTR, I always say, is one of the most fun bikes that somebody could ride. Like, just it could do anything that you kind of wanted to do, whatever. He has some really, really bad sport bikes, and we're about to roll out a bike that's, that's, you have to have the biggest balls of all time to ride. So that's gonna be the next bike. Um, yes, yeah, so let's, let's get that out quick. All right, I was gonna show some examples of some of the stuff that he's selling, but to be honest with you, he sold out, which is a good thing. We like selling out. But here we go, check right, this out. So Dan Toast is a motorcycle enthusiast. He doesn't care if it's an Indian FTR or some of his choppers that I'll show you right here. And super bike. So Toast is not just sport bike centric, they're motorcycle centric, including this bad boy, dude. Tell me about this bike. All right, this is a 1917 Indian Power Plus. Um, hey, the Power Plus, that's what they call the Challenger's motor. Yeah, this is where it started. This is where, yeah. this is where they got the idea of Power Plus. So there's a, there's a race series, uh, Billy Lane had it going, it's uh, Sons of Speed. Sons Great of event, Speed. And, and it's bringing a lot of, it's a lot of younger guys getting into this. Okay. It's board track style racing on a banked oval, half mile banked oval. Half mile banked oval. So, so bikes, what year did you say this was? 1917. 1917. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, so these bikes, they don't have brakes, they don't have gears. So this isn't a brake? This is a compression release. Compression yeah. release. So that's that and that is how you kill this bike. So when you're pushing it around, you pull the compression release and it's, it's almost like it's a neutral. So you guys start it how you started it or however. Yeah. And then uh, you start going around a half mile banked track. Yeah. 
25 miles an hour? They idle it close to 30 miles an hour. 30 miles an yeah. hour idle. With no brakes. With elbow no brakes. Elbow, elbow, elbow. guys. Jesus. Idling crazy. to get, to get, you know. I feel baseball. like I have enough balls to do this, but I think I don't. Yeah. It's one of those things. You so think you, think you, do, you do this, right? Yeah, I do this. Okay, so what's the fastest? You've gone and the or and or the fastest you guys were in average normally. I think there's some of the guys that have uh, there's some, a hot class. They're a little faster than this. They've been upwards of 100 miles an hour. Wow. So, you know, high 90s. Um, I haven't been that fast, man. I hope I do. What do you think? What do you think this bike could do? Um, it's definitely capable of being in the 80s, the high 80s. Your, uh, yeah. your Kavunas are just like. Yeah. Huge. Surely put on the seat. Huge. You know, that yeah. Kind of yeah, that's what these are cut out yeah. for, is for the ball on each side. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's one of those things, like, at first I, I was apprehensive, um, you know, a little concerned about it. Yeah. I mean, the, uh, you know, it's nothing for one of these to, to lose a tire in the beginning, which makes it more exciting, oh. but you don't, unless you're the guy on the bike. Or unless you're the guy on the bike, yeah. yeah. And Billy had built this bike and uh, actually slid it down the track the first time it went out. Really? About 20 minutes before I was able to give it a first ride. And he's like, ah, oh, yeah, it'll be fine. We have another tire. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I just, I think it's just so bad. Oh my gosh. I mean, we had to put a little twist on the pipes. Yeah. Them drop straight. So we had to put a little kickback. Like, those are toast pipes, yeah, right? Yeah, those are toast pipes. Yeah, guys, you got the toast cut here. Yeah. Yep. Wow, and here's the foot, one foot peg? And why are they offset? Because it's, it's a banked oval and, and your rider riding position get your weight on the front wheel for the corner. Okay. So you're kind of, you're in that, that position. Oh. If you're not, if you're not, I mean, if any of the guys that race these things see this video, they're gonna be like, yeah, when you get to the corner, you better have your weight in the right place. Okay. You will be in the wall or you're, you're, you're going for a slide. So then how do you do it? Just because I'm it's, retarded um, and I don't understand. You make sure your weight's on that front wheel, especially with the Indians, because the motors are set back a little bit. Yeah. You want to make sure that your weight is on that front wheel okay. to keep traction and keep that, you know, so you really want to be oh your goal you is to be, like yeah you're tucked like this. yeah yeah you're definitely tucked like this. okay and yeah. do you put weight on because the left yeah. turn yeah okay yeah. so then you're kind of like shifting shifting your body weight to that right. left foot oh yeah. that's fucking cool yeah. dude i'm a sport bike guy so i tend to probably lean my bike more than i should whereas okay. a lot of these guys are um, uh they're they you know there's guys in this series that race all different kinds of motorcycles flat tracks i mean uh there's some you know really talented guys out there yeah um i'm more of a sport bike guy more of a hack of a sport bike rider <laughs> um uh doesn't mean i don't love it i don't do it a lot we, we all know that i i started on yamaha sport bikes and i've my life has changed a few fold yeah. but dude this is so cool so you know, this, it'll go dark but that's okay yeah. i'm just gonna get like oh jesus yeah my balls don't fit on here <laughs> oh, I'd, lo I'd love to say that i have enough balls i think i do He'd work up to it. Yeah. Once you, you see him on the track, yeah. So how hard is it to turn? Though? Um, it's no, it's not. It's not hard to turn. It's banked. Okay. So yeah. you're. It's just getting the line right and getting your balance right because at the same time this bike is not a smooth running. It's chugging. It's like. Oh yeah. Ja, 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 it was idling yeah. in here. I was like. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's like that on the track. So you know? are you? Are you on, like? What is your? I put my knees right around. I put my elbows around my knees. Like yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're, what's your mind going? So you're on the, you're on the, is the straightaway banked? No. No. It, I mean, it has, no, it it's, flattens out. It flattens out? Yeah. And then you're coming into the corner and your idea is, what do you do? You like pivot forward? A little yeah, bit? Yeah, a little bit. You just make sure that you're, you're down to hold on to the corner. You know? I'm oh. just curious, like, what's your mindset? It, yeah, it's still Shut recording. Shut off. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, no, yeah. I do that just to save battery. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out, like, the mindset of going 80, 100 miles an hour and you're just like, Yes, oh. it's, and then your it's eyes, and then you're looking where you're going. So you're you're looking over here, probably. Yeah, you're point. always looking into the corner. You don't look where you're going. Yeah. you're looking where you're. Yeah, headed. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a rookie move. Yeah. But yeah, rookie terminology. But I know what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. So you're fucking crying. You're like fucking. Yeah, and sometimes I mean, there's little, there's it's there's so all crazy. the other things that go with it. Somebody breaks down. And you're and trying then, to yeah, a chain. You don't know. They all of a sudden they stop. You don't have brakes, so you're like, make sure you're not directly behind that guy. You're, How you're, agile is it, like on the straightaway? Um, you can pull them pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. A little, just counter, little yeah. counter. I mean, some of these guys, like Billy, and they'll, they'll, they'll ride down the, the stretch, no hand. I'm not taking my hands off this thing. <laughs> you know, you know, you go one handed or something like that. But as far as racing, you can, you can, you can negotiate this bike with these. 
I mean, it seems pretty nimble. I mean, the tires are tell tell me it's nimble. Yeah. The, it's more like just getting used to the ride position. Yeah. Because the er ergonomics of riding and counter steering and that doesn't change. And this bike being as small as it yeah. tells me, oh yeah, you you, yeah. you could whip it around. Yeah. The problem is no brakes, so it's fucking just yeah. Okay. So you, you it's wide open all are you yeah. wide open all the time? Um, or do you, or do you pretty much you, you let off. You, as you ride more, you have a certain point that you aim for, depending on what line you're in, yeah. and you like know that you let off there. And what it does, it, it kind of upsets the chassis a little bit. It unweights you yeah. enough to where you get into your cornering position, yeah. and then you get on the gas as, as quick as you can. You just lose that. It's like tapping the brakes. You're, are you sitting on the seat? Or are you almost off the seat? Oh uh, no, you're you're rolled off to the side. Oh, yeah, like this. Kind of like that. Oh, yeah. you know. that that makes more sense because then it kind of equates you. Not to lean. You're not allowed to do a lot of modifications to these. So yeah. I kind of, I like to keep my leg, my suit. It's, I have tape right there, and it's just kind of like an air duct to yeah, try and get it into the car. I can sit on this fucking bike without hurting myself. Yeah. Dude, that's so crazy. But it's cool, you know. <laughs> it's so cool. The, and the best thing. So this is an example that the Toast, Toast, from toss, toss Performance? Toast. Toast. Yeah. Did I say Toss? Toast. Fuck, see, we can't get this right. Okay. Toast. Toast performance. I'm gonna make sure since they sound it out. Exactly. Toast. <laughs> and then T and then cry. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna figure it out. So so we're gonna work on that so everybody learns that this is toast performance motorcycle guys. So you you have a power plus underneath you now. Yep. Uh any 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 idea about maybe playing with other Indian stuff? Yeah, so we did a, a preliminary scout exhaust. Okay. A lot of power worked very well. Um we're ramping up for that we want to do a little bit more development before okay. we just release it right um, we are going to do the challenger next challenger that's what's coming next so we just didn't, can't get away from the power plus no yeah i love the challenge yeah, see it in my sleep oh my god oh that's what made me i might cut this out but that's what made me buy the damn bike is i rode it test rode it for a video i started dreaming about this stupid thing yeah. and then i bought it so anyway this is dan toast check out what's your website uh, it's toastperformance.com. Toastperformance.com. Yep. Uh, and all information to contact you, call you, email you. It's all yep. on there. Yep. You guys have Facebook, Instagram, any of that good yes, stuff? Yes, we do. Yeah, and it's, yeah. Uh, it's at Toast Performance. At Toast Performance. My good friend Star Bobber is rocking your FTR high mount. Yep. So if you need pictures of that, go check out uh, star underscore bobber underscore 11, I think it is. Check her out. She has pictures of her FTR. And and in another video, you're gonna see me ripping on there. So you could probably get a heat, get to hear. Actually, let's just fire this up. Okay. And then, and then after I ride it, look for the review video or the, you know, I do a 99% I'm riding, 1% I actually try to think of reviewing. So it's still ride and review. It's just mostly me riding, a little bit of me reviewing. But this is what it, the quick sound is. have the Lloyd's garage. So it has the power vision, his, his tune though. His yeah. tune, right. His two power vision is his tune. Oh, that's what it is. Power vision with his tune. Those guys at Lloyd's garage, you know what they're doing. They just did my Challenger. You want to know what the Challenger ECU is? I even race a race. We went to Mexico and I raced a guy with stage two cam. So, all right. Hey dude, I really appreciate you taking the time. All right. Chatting motorcycles with me. Always. And you guys need to check out toastperformance.com. Get a hold of these guys and if you're in their area connecticut yep. if you're in connecticut check them out if not call them up email them whatever it is and i i'm gonna sit on that because i'll be officially the oldest bike that i've ever sat on um they don't have a track around here for me to ride or i would just saying i'm just pretending like i have a ball yeah. to do it so, all right guys hey as i always say uh ride hard ride fast and like me say hi to somebody you don't know thanks right. man peace Ha 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 ha!